how to set up an exposition, let us cover it in this video. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo San Musicus Fratecus, and this is the second video of the series Improvise Your Fugue. Yeah, let's call it this way, I've just invented the name, Improvise Your Fugues. And in the last video we set up this subject plus counter subject, and I told you to practice in these ways, using these combinations. Watch the previous videos in this playlist, Do Re Mi Fa subject, in order to understand what I'm talking about. After you practice, you have been you have practiced this the time has come to pass to our new second stage we consist in inventing and or better in setting up an exposition and if you practice this now it's very simple this task will be very simple let's do let's write our like the recipe so the first exposition we are going to write consists in starting from the bass four voices bass tenor altus and cantus. Let's do it now in C major and let's use our colors red for the subject and blue for the counter subject. So you have red here and then you have cantus, altus, tenor and bastus, our four voices. Here let's start with the bass, with the cantus, uh, in the bass with the subject or uh, dux. dux Let's write dux, which means the subject in C major, starting from the first degree in this case. And then, this way, very easy, starting from C. Yeah, let's, also, let's also use, uh, let's do this. Yeah, I like to use a, a old class to do something historical. So, dux, starting from C, here. Remember, we have the rest, of course. One, do, Then we'll put the commas here. The commas on the fifth degree, starting so on G. Do, re, mi, fa, la, sol, fa, mi. For example, do. Have again the dux here. Do re mi fa la sol fa mi. Yeah, according to this thing, the right time will be three four because here we'll start the new subject. So the correct time in this case it's something like three four to be precise. Then we have the dux again starting on C. So dux Thomas. Starting on G. So you will use in this case the exercises you did in C major and G major. So that's why it was very useful to practice through all these keys. You'll use C major and G major. Nice. Number one. Okay. So practice this way. Perfect. Now, what's the next step? Let's put the counter subject from this point. So counter subject, G, C, S, starting from G, here. And so we're gonna play. Then, 
we have the dux here with the counter stop just this way starting on C, the un unison. Do, re, mi, fa, la, sol, fa, mi. And then again, the counter stop at this point, starting here on no, starting here on G. Very good. So let's practice them together. Do, re, mi, fa, la, sol, fa. Case is the, the counter subject is in the lower voice because we're starting from the bottom after the top. So, what to do now? Let's set, let's play it again. Do, re, mi, fa, la, sol, fa. Here. need to continue with the counterpoint. So what's the secret now? Just practice in partimento because after the first entry you need to put one more voice. Here we have the unison now. So unison. Let's add the G for example. Let's add C. Seven. Seven. Six. Seven, three, seven, three. And then the same. Unison, we have two voices now here. Let's now I can't do this. My hand is not so wide, so let's get rid of the tailor for a moment. This way. Now partimental skills. It's very useful. In, no, very useful. It's <laughs> fundamental. If you don't know how to move voices in Partimento, you can't do this right now. You can't do. It. You can add more voices. So that's why it's very important that you practice with Partimento exercises. And so join the Partimento method. I'm starting releasing the Partimento method from April. Now in March, I don't know when you will see this video, but in March 2024, it's now still available. From April, it will be available. But since today is March 18th, so in a few weeks would be available. So from April 1, 2024. You can start for free the Partimento method and if you like it, you can continue. It's a big investment, I know, but there are a lot of contents, a lot of videos, a lot of exercises, thousands of videos and exercises, and then you can become very skilled in Partimento. So, making music alone can be boring. Doing together with other friends can be a lot of fun. Many musician friends from all over the world are waiting to meet you on our server Discord. A totally free community where you can share your works, exchange your thoughts, learn and help other musicians like yourself. We can't wait to meet you too! Join our Discord server now! Click on this link, verify your account and say hello to your new friends! And so we finished our exposition. Now, what to do? Let's sing now all the subjects. Do, re, mi, fa, la, sol, fa, mi. And now let's sing the counter subject, which is fa. So uh, Miss the note. Very good. 
that you have to transport this exposition through all the keys. Now, let's do one more thing. Let's do the counter exposition. The counter exposition consists in starting from the commas, so from the dukes, no, but, sorry, commas, dukes, commas, dukes. This. Counter exposition will have the dukes, uh, commas here, starting on G, for example, uh, here. You can add, if you like, the counter subject in this point, starting from G, of course, the same letter. Then we have the commas in this point, so G. And then we have the dukes here, so C. Commas. Commas, dukes, commas, dukes, commas. Dukes. Commas. Why is it so useful? After the first exposition, for example, start a sequence. Cadence to the fifth degree, G major. Start a new counter exposition starting from the commas. And then you come back to C major. The last time, for example, but we will see this in a, a next video, instead of finishing with the cadence, like this. Um, Start the sequence. Uh, and then let's set a minor exposition. So here, feel free with counter subjects. I mean, it's not so necessary that you respect the order. So counter subject here, counter subject then um, here. You can do this. You can. The most important thing is that you respect the note because here you are continuing with the other voices. So you are playing with all the other voices, or you can rest the cantus. You can rest one of them. So you can put the counter subject where you prefer. Here, if you like, you can also put the counter subject in this voice, starting on G, uh, on C. No, Pelin on G because we are on G. So after the first exposition, now I am here, I show you, here. Three down, two up, three down, two up, three down, two up. Cadence to G major in the campus, for example. So, in order to set a practice, let's respect this order. So, counter subject here, yeah. You have now the tenor. Uh,
So now you have the commas here. Yeah, follow this order just to follow an order in practicing. So, so counter subject from C, start, starting with the unison, and then a counter subject from G, and then counter subject from C. Yes, this way. Very good. Here in the middle, if you want, put a sequence. For example, I like three down, two up. Let's write sequences in green. Three down, two up, this way. Sequence plus cadence to G in this point. And you can learn all these things, sequences and cadences in the Partimento method. Of course, I can't tell about all here in this video. The counter subject uh, is in the bass. Now I want the counter subject here, so for example, perfect, really nice, really good. Well, 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 I really like it. Now we have. We have been practicing for 16 minutes. So in the next video, let's do another kind of exposition and the counter exposition. This time is starting from the top up to the bottom. So in the contrary. So and then in the following one, the next one again, we'll do minor minor subjects and then other kind of exposition, for example, tenor, altus, cantus. So this way, combining all of them, we can have all the elements. Uh, to set our field improvisation. Very good, see you in the next video and if you want to learn many other things, other exercises there is. Learn with few, learn few with Handel course on the Musicus Practicus Academy and learn few with Bach course on the Musicus Practicus Academy. Remember also that you can download all these PDFs to practice and follow this series about field improvisation on Patreon. So join my Patreon, you have all the material you need to practice with these beautiful exercises and see you somewhere. But is learning how to improvise a fugue on the keyboard really that difficult? Let's be clear, composing and improvising a fugue is not a simple task at all. In fact, it is a real challenge. However, it is possible to break a large, complex and difficult challenge into several smaller challenges. So you can practice each aspect individually. So even if improvising a fugue is not easy, it is possible to simplify the process. There are several ways you can do this. There are many things we can focus on. The movement of the subject's melody, every single part that makes up our fugue, the order of the entries of the voices. In this all-in-all -all short journey that I propose to you, I want to show you the Fugal Partimenti by Georg Friedrich Handel. This course and these exercises are for you if you already know a little about harmony and counterpoint and you are already familiar with Partimenti. They are right for you if you don't have a lot of time to dedicate to your great passion for music, but precisely because it is important to you and you don't want to give it up, you are looking for a limited number of exercises which can help you to improve your confidence, your compositions and raise your skills. And they are also right for you if you are looking for a way to learn to write fugues that is different from the 19th century Jedage school method still used today in many conservatories and music academies. The beautiful thing about these exercises is that Handel arranged the six fugues in a progressive order, both in length, quantity of diminutions and contrapuntal techniques. In fact, the final exercises present particular techniques including the presence of a counter subject, the double fugue and the subject in augmentation. So I invite you to move on to the next free video to find out what's hidden inside the new Learn Fugue with Handel course.
and I really want to explain everything to you because I want you to choose this course only if you like it so that you can know before you invest in your learning if and how useful it will be for you.